don't have time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. below. This far fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one. What is it, Ara? Such hatred. Be careful, Dust.
So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. Hmm. 
And what's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no please in some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. There's a rare material out there that I've heard can be distilled into a very strong lacquer for armor. Of course, I'm talking about slime. If you could bring me four slimy spikes and four slimy coats, I'll pay you handsomely. I'll uh, even throw in a little extra since it's likely to be a bit, uh, well, slimy. Please, let me know if you come across those materials. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Please, let me know if you come across those materials. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be wa waiting right here. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not... person. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. A tragedy tends to follow in their wake. 
So why did they... They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! I have the best selection you'll... You are... Honor us with your patronage. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. With all those monsters running about, I feel so much safer here in Aurora. I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn... Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason. This war is turning all of us into mo- Right before the end, he seems lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Just can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well... I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Fidget, please calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to drive completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. 
Why is Gaia so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Monsters! Ginger, get down! <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters inside it? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except... Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. of the line. Looks like a pretty na Yes. There's no time to find a well <laughs> Did you see something move up ahead? I saw something move. Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark! I'm afraid of the things in the dark! I don't see anything, Fidget. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our kind isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush!
really hard to see. I'm starting to regret coming down here. <laughs> I was regretting it minutes ago. Search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area.
Yes. You've been poisoned? When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later.
Dust, wait. This creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. We'll see about that. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Attack and hold X at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their move, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. A successful parry may daze your opponent, and will fully restore your en You will be unable to harm certain enemies unless they are dazed. This, exercise patience and observe your opponent's pattern, and you- Sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. <laughs> 